in Fort Smith around three o'clock this morning. We had some viewer pictures come in of hail about looked like maybe six inches deep on their doorstep. Uh, thunderstorms have been interesting, uh, pulsing up and down. And right now, nothing to show you on storms close by. Now, there are some to our east this afternoon, but again, uh, all clear to our south. Uh, Fort Smith currently at 87 degrees, along with Little Rock and 88 over in Tulsa this hour, Wichita at 87. So it's very warm all through the central plains and into the south. Now, these are the storms we're talking about going on currently uh, over in Newton County. We've had a flash flood warnings been issued because of the heavy rain that's fallen out of these cells. And you can see how they're starting to propagate a little bit more to the southwest. Some of these starting to come over into Madison County. We'll be watching these as they progress and build this afternoon. And we may actually get another storm or two. The winds are variable at this time, but uh, calm in Fort Smith and uh, out of the southwest and west at about eight in Fayetteville and Bentonville. So this is what I wanted to speak mostly on is tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now we're under a level three enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms tomorrow. We have a cold front coming. We have uh, the ingredients for some fairly large thunderstorms to develop, and they'll be moving from most likely the northwest towards the southeast, possibly starting in northwest Arkansas about one o'clock tomorrow. So again, a level three risk uh, for our northwestern Arkansas counties, also down into uh, the River Valley counties later in the afternoon, but it'll start earlier up in uh, Washington and Benton County. So we'll be watching this closely and tracking it for you tomorrow. And you can see how in the uh, forecast for tomorrow by afternoon, we had about a 40% chance of storms developing. So if you're gonna be out on Beaver Lake tomorrow, be careful with these storms. They may have some very strong winds as the afternoon progresses and into the evening hours. And again, for the River Valley uh, areas, we are gonna call for these storms to be later coming in, but again, the same chance late in the evening, possibly by five or six o'clock, still reaching near 90 degrees tomorrow before this all happens. So I'll show it to you on our radar. Uh, this is a future cast of radar showing you what we're expecting. Now, again, storms developing. Look at this mass of storms in the afternoon. Uh, this could start at about one o'clock and you see how it develops and then maybe even more developing uh, late in the evening hours. So our forecast for Northwest Arkansas does show uh, thunderstorms coming in tomorrow evening, about a 50% chance and we dry it out for a few days. Then another slight chance of some storms, especially as we get towards the next weekend, about a 40% chance. Here's the River Valley forecast for the next seven days. Again, late tomorrow evening, a chance of storms at about 50%. And then we see, again, a pretty hot and humid forecast up back up into the 90s once again, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then maybe some cooling showers coming in as early as we see um, for next weekend. But again, we're in a very hot pattern and have been now all this last week. We have had that old storm overnight down in Fort Smith, kind of a pop-up Severe storm that, uh, well, we had some big storms going on. It came out of Missouri and ended up coming all the way down to Fort Smith last night and three o'clock in the morning, that's a lot of hail. Three o'clock in the morning. And look, you do not be the first to tell me that it was hot. I mean, I've been out in the field reporting this week, sweating bullets before yeah. I came on camera. Hot out there. This suit's hot. Isn't it? It's looking look, hot, looking hot. hot. Not, not too bad yourself. You're probably looking like, who, who are these guys? Yeah. You, you new weekend people. Well, hey, coming up, it was state semi